Gentlemen, welcome back to Crusader Kings. It's been a while because the year is already starting to kick my, you know, the words that I can't say because YouTube will demonetize me in the first 30 seconds. At any rate, I welcome you to the Royce playthrough, which will be roleplay, kind of ish, semi roleplay. It's my version of roleplay, which basically just means very simple rules about who I can and cannot make contact with. I can't go to the other side of Westeros and make a marriage pact with the Danes if I'm in the Vale and have never spoken to any of the Danes. In order to actually have diplomacy with a character in the game, I have to actually meet them in a game. I have to meet them at a tournament, or at a feast, or on the battlefield. I have to make friends with them, and I have to actually contact them in order to, you know, talk to them. There is the caveat of, oh, you could just send a raven. Yeah, but we're here to try and make this a bit more challenging, not easy. Because, let's be frank, the mod is very easy. So we're essentially taking a page out of time with Lannister's book, shattering our kneecaps with a hammer, and asking ourselves the question, does this make sense for the character? To the best of my ability, at least. It's just a way to handicap myself a little bit, make it a bit more challenging, make it a bit more interesting. That's all, and uh, you can skip past all this with a little timestamp, conveniently. Without further ado, we'll jump into it. Starting off as High Lordship as strong as Runestone, which has all of its buildings maxed out. <laughs> just starts with all of its stuff maxed out. The hell? That's really powerful. It's ridiculous, actually. I could already call 5,000 men. That's uh, that's quite something. Also, Lord Royce is exceptionally good. He is a brilliant commander, an inspiring blade master, whole of body, he's a knight and strong, and he's a formidable fighter. Damn, he is good. He is real good. But without further rambling, we are in the War of the Usurper, Robert's Rebellion, rising up against the Targaryen menace because Rhaegar has run away with Lyanna Stark. Allegedly, are wording her. We can't say the real word, because YouTube will demonetize me. He's a bad man, done bad things, uh, and we need to go stop him from doing more bad things, Let Robert Raffian says so, and I'm not willing to argue with him. So, personally, uh, we're going to raise the banners. I'm gonna go join Robert and Lord Aaron outside of Goldtown, which has sided with the Targaryens because they are dirty, sturdy Grafton scum. All the more reason to give House Royce control of this territory rather than giving it to the Graftons. Just say and just stay in. See, here's the RP stuff. If I want to betroth my son to a Dane, I actually have to go see a Dane. I have to have some connection to them, which I don't have one, so we're not going to do that. Or an Aaron of Goldtown, but they're pretty much just merchants and aren't, uh, aren't very well respected. If you haven't read the books, you probably have absolutely no idea who the hell they are. Believe it or not, lads, <clears throat> for you HBO viewers out there, first of all, I pity you. But uh, second of all, yeah, House Aaron has two branches of the family. One of them is the Aarons you know, the other ones are in Goldtown as just merchants. So, yeah. They're useless, basically. Do we marry off my son now, or do I leave it be for now and see if we make any friends or acquaintances during the war, perhaps? Yes. We'll go to war, boys. We'll go to war, and we'll see what happens. Maybe there'll be some marriage prospects later on. We will connect ourselves to our liege lord and uh, Eddard Stark. And begin that. One thing we could consider is, uh, are there any girls from House Aaron, potentially? There's very few Aarons, by the way. The Mad King unalived several of them, so that is a thing. For now, we will accompany Lord Aaron and, uh, Eddard Stark, and follow Baratheon, and probably get our ass kicked by that 22,000 stack of freaking Targaryen forces, which is about to come into the Vale and completely annihilate us. Yep, like that, like that. Robert! Robert! Come over here, Robert. Get your ass back over here, goddammit, Stag. Raffian, come on. Jeez, I'm, the Targaryens went straight for Robert this time around. That was... yeah. That went well. Battle... hey, Eddard left it. Uh, led the battle. Oh, Rhaegar was there. Rhaegar was actually in that fight there. I will stick with Lord Aaron. I'm gonna drag the Graftons out kicking and screaming. There you go. We've taken Goldtown. And we are going south to the Blackwater. And apparently Storm's End. Which makes sense. Go join up with Robert's men. Why is the crossing now part of the... The fuck? <laughs> the f Wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what's going on here? What's going on here, game? Why in the hell is House Frey... Okay. John Aaron just took the opportunity to forcibly 
I mean, the Freys initially did not join the side of Robert in the war. They didn't join the Targaryens immediately either. That's how Walder Frey got his title of Walder the Late, the Late Lord Frey. Uh, in this universe, it appears that Jon Arryn just went, Oh, hell no! And then just took the twins. And then forced the Freys into the fray, ironically. So yeah, that's happened. That's a thing that's just happened. Um, the Yeah, the, the Veil now controls the twins. Mm -hmm. I'm traveling with Robert, and he grew up in the Stormlands. So, like, maybe he's brokering an alliance for Stannis? Technically speaking, it's a Royce. It's a cadet Royce, but it's a Royce nonetheless. Screw it, yeah, sure. But Robert is proposing it. And we are traveling with Robert. And can we really just refuse the king? I'm assuming not. No. Like, th this is this is his play, not mine. What if while traveling with Robert Baratheon, and he comes up probably drunk, suggesting this marriage, I don't think Royce is going to go, no, fuck off. He's going to go, sure, your grace, whatever. There you go. Stannis marries a uh, a cousin of mine, apparently. Like I said, I am I am traveling with Robert, so... I'll, I'll, I'll take it. That's fine. Bit of a strategic blunder, but it is Robert Baratheon. He wasn't really known for his uh, diplomacy, so to speak. Oh, here comes a big-ass battle. I don't think we have the troops necessary to do anything about this. No, we do. We're just taking our sweet time about it. Get in there. Save Robert, damn you. Turn the tide. I don't think we can win this. I think we took too long to do that. Are we going to lose? Question mark? I think we are. Because the... Wait, Lord Paramount Stannis? What the heck? Whoa, 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 <gasps> Rhaegar! Rhaegar just whacked Robert. Wait, Rhaegar just straight up whacked Robert. And now... Okay, my cousin is the Lady Paramount of the Stormlands now. That's interesting. Okay, so as far as my head cannon goes for this, Robert was drunk before the battle. As he always is. Um... He was drunk, probably with two women of the night. I can't say the other word. Two women of the night on his shoulders. He stumbled into Royce's tent, just going, Royce, my my, my cousin, my cousin to, to my brother. My, my cousin to my brother. Shut up, Royce. No, no, I'm not taking no for an answer. Shut up, shut up. Just bury my cousin. Something like that. That's that's my interpretation of Robert Moravian wasted, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, my cousin marries Stannis, and then the following morning. Robert, because of his hangover, gets killed by Rhaegar. That's, that's, whoa, 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 what? Holy sh- No, never mind! Okay, there's, there's a new layer to my story. Uh, Robert, due to his hangover, gets killed by Rhaegar, and then is saved by Dennis Aaron, the Darling of the Vale, who lived. Dennis Aaron just killed- <laughs> Okay, game. Robert died, but Rhaegar also died. Nobody is the victor of this battle. I mean, technically, I mean, technically they are, really, but... Yeah, nobody's coming out of this battle looking good. Well, that was an interesting battle. Uh, defeat. Yes, the battle at Nailstone. Details, lads. Details. I need details. Jesus Christ. Jorah Mormont killed 254 people. Barristan Selmy was there. That was me. Bronze Royce. I killed 172. Oof! Oberon Martell died. Holy crap, I killed Oberyn Martell! How did I manage to do that? <laughs> I killed the Red Viper. See, this is this is what bugs me. This game desperately needs uh, duel events. I, I wanted to actually have a duel with the Red Viper, not just have it tell me I killed him. Where was the big event thing where I actually get to fight the Red Viper? That's what this is missing in a big way, is the, uh, the, the dueling system like that. You know, like CK2 has. It's missing that in a big way, but still... I, I killed the Red Viper. I have killed the Red Viper of Dawn. Uh, Lord, uh, Lord Grafton died against Roderick Cassell. Nesta Royce, my, uh, my cousin from the other branch, killed, killed Ironwood. Right, well, <laughs> as interesting as that is, we, we are kind of screwed now. Did, um, no, the Graftons still rose up against us. They didn't, like, swap side now that the Lord died. Uh, we are, whoa, 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 go, 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 go. <laughs> it split us off from Aaron for some reason, and it's leaving me behind. Come back. Come back! I can't fight the dragons by myself. Andor has come of age. He is not the formidable fighter his father was, but is nonetheless pretty good. He is unmarried, but I feel like the uh, the war is not the time to be worrying about marriages, necessarily. We're in the middle of a war, for Christ's sake. Uh, I will attach myself to my lord. Yeah, I will attach myself to John Aaron's host. Stick with the Aarons at all times. 
Such is my duty. We are going to be fairly loyal to the House Aaron, unless they give us a very good reason not to be. The Royces are notoriously, uh, notoriously loyal individuals, so... I have no reason to betray them. The greed and the expansion of borders is not a reason to betray somebody, so... I have to have actual, genuine reason. Yeah, that was close, lad. You almost got caught there. We are so screwed. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think we can win this. We've dealt some devastating blows killing those individuals, but uh, other than that, I'm pretty, we're pretty sure we're fucked. Yeah, Catelyn, Catelyn Stark died. Or oh, Catelyn Tully. Vice Aaron's still very much alive. With Jasper Aaron as the heir. What are you doing? Why did you turn around like that? That's in a death sentence. We're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. We're screwed. We are screwed. Yep, yeah, we're screwed. Fight on, boys! I believe. Come on. No, I don't believe. I don't believe. I believed for a split second then, and then the rest of them showed up, in which case I immediately stopped believing. There's more Dawdishmen coming down from the north as well. We are screwed. Nestor Royce maimed. The glory is widely known. I was wounded in the battle. Ooh, Aria Hotel was just killed. My knight. Oh, Brandon the. Brandon the Umbo was slain by a dude. Alright, who died in that? <laughs> who died in this? Aria Hotel died. Oof, Jorah Mormont died. Mekin died. Lord Fell died. Umba. Barrison killed a lot of dudes. Nah, not that much of a devastating thing. It's just the slaughter at Scarlet Keep. Jesus Christ, that's a good name. That is a good place to have a slaughter, I'm not gonna lie. Unless the Lannisters decide to swap sides right now. But, um, I don't think there's a good chance of that happening, to be perfectly honest. We are under attack again. I am all the way over here for some reason. It ditched me again, lads. Yes, lure them away, Stark. Good little doggy. Good doggy. I can go over here and then die a heroic death. I'll save you, Stannis! I'll save you! No, I won't. I will absolutely not. But nonetheless. Enemy joins? Uh, enemy ally joins. Ah, oh, uh, Grafton. Okay. Yeah, we're screwed. We oh god, the Lannisters. We're definitely screwed. And there goes John Aaron. Jasper Aaron, a one-year-old boy, is now in charge of this. And we have been defeated and imprisoned. The war has gone well, boys. Oh god, we're imprisoned by Ares. That's the bad thing. We might be fucked. <laughs> if it was Rhaegar, I wouldn't be too worried. But, um... I might demand a trial by combat. Actually, no, 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 no. That's, that's a bad idea. What am I talking about? That's a terrible, terrible idea. Ares is, like, gonna murder me, dude. You know what happens when you demand trial by combat to various Targaryen? Terrible idea. Uh, he murdered... Yeah, he he execute. Oh god, did he kill all of them? <gasps> Holy sh... I think he murdered like... No, 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 no. Dennis Aaron's still alive. He's the only one, though. He's the last surviving Aaron. Ares executed all of the other ones. I'm, I'm so tempted to demand a trial by combat now that... When Royce learns... The Ares has murdered his Lord, his Paramount, and the Arons. Uh, oh, I don't know whether or not we like demand a trial by combat because we're so angry about the fact that they've killed the Arons, or we wait. He's killed the Arons. Royce, knowing full well that he might just be burnt alive, flips Ares the finger and demands that a trial by combat because he just murdered his liege lords. Fight as my own champion. Ah, uh, yeah, it, it didn't go well. Yeah, yeah, I figured he'd do that. I figured he'd do that. <laughs> I brought the prison in chains as a pyre ready and the guards dragging me towards it. I have chosen fire as my champion today. King Aris cackles madly. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. But Jorn Royce just... He, because, purely because he... Ah. The fact... The man is... The man had the balls of bronze, lads. He had balls of bronze. When he heard that Ares had just murdered his liege lord and like all of the Arons, he just fucking he just flipped him the finger rather than bend the knee he knew that it was a death sentence but he went ahead with it anyway fuck you Ares. fuck you yep past the age of 46 who set ablaze with wildfire by king Ares. i can't believe the Arons are dead man only 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 the fucking uh dennis the darling of the veil vale lives i don't know for how much longer he'll live He's stripped the veil from the Arons as well, so I don't know who the hell's gonna get it exactly. Hmm. Lyanna Stark. We did fight alongside Stark. I might do that. I'd say it's stretching my RP rules a little bit, but at the same time, I feel like the Starks and the Royces... Because Eddard grew up in the Vale, Eddard was a good friend of the Royces. Lord Royce, 
the Royce that just got burnt alive always spoke highly of Eddard. He considered him like a son in many ways. So it stands to reason that his sons were good friends with Ned as well. And Ander Royce, who we're playing as now, was fighting alongside Ned as well. I feel like they're friends, uh, they're buddies, they at least get along. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna marry Lyanna Stark, just because fuck you, I'm marrying Lyanna Stark. That's my explanation for that. Okay, I'm marrying Lyanna because I can. Uh, I would command one of my vassals to Ned, yeah. He never got to get knighted by his father. But yeah, so we marry Lyanna Stark because I say that we're good friends with the Starks. And uh, we will basically make it our mission in life to remove the Targaryens from the throne and avenge avenge our father at this stage, pretty much. Lord of the Eyrie, but it wouldn't really make much sense. I don't think that Ander Royce is going to be going back to the King's Landing anytime soon, or really ever. Considering his father died there, his liege lord died there, and everything, it makes absolutely no sense for me to go to King's Landing and ask the Mad King to make us Lord Paramount. It might work. But that's one of those RP things that stops me from just auto-winning the entire game by default. Eh, then again, uh, my cadet branch, these lads need um, need some new land now, because I think they got it stripped from them. <laughs> Come back to court, I invite you back to Runestone, my man. You are family. I have land and title for you. Yeah, they used to be the Knights of the Bloody Gate, but obviously Ares has stripped all of that from them. Now I'll uh, I'll give Royce this tower that we just got, the province of Falcon Tower. It gives that cadet branch something to... Uh, Hold on to. See, so yeah, I'm kind of pissed at my neighbors because the Graftons, they're like partly responsible. They they dared to stand up against us. They, they dared to side against us and all that nonsense. Uh, he just gave... He gave the... What? He, the dude just gave the Eerie to fucking Varys? He just gave the Eerie to Varys. That is the ultimate fucking Mad King move, if I do not say so myself. I'm genuinely surprised Ares has not murdered... All of the Starks or anything. He just primarily... Actually, what happened to the Baratheons? He just let Stannis live. It appears that he has literally only punished the Arons. Everybody else is fine, but the Arons, they, they had to die. They had to die. I need allies within the Vale. That's what I need. I need allies within the Vale to make a play for... Uh, to make a play for it later on. I can't believe he gave Varys the Eerie. Seriously. Varys. He gave, he gave Varys... Control of the Eerie. And it's only the Arons that he punished. That's what I can't get over. The fact that it is literally only the Arons that he punished. Everybody else gets off scot-free, more or less, kind of. Jesus Christ! Janos Hunter is not looking good. Why did he give the veil to freaking Varys, of all people? I swear, if he makes Varys Lord Paramount, I'm going to kill someone. There you go. We made that alliance, at least. That's one alliance that we have within the veil. I do want to create more, because I definitely intend to fuck up the Graftons and eventually move on the Vale. There's no way in hell. That is our mission. We will take the Vale or restore House Aaron right to do its rightful place. Why is, uh... Oh, he, he gave Varus... He gave Viserys uh, some land in the north, which now... Okay. I can't do, like... Dennis doesn't have a claim on the Vale. I think it's probably because Ares stripped him of it or something. See, being uh, being basically hellbent on destroying the Targaryen dynasty pretty much removes a lot of options in terms of uh, yeah, in terms of who I can and cannot make alliances and be friendly towards, more or less. My son is born, lads. He looks like a Stark. I'm pretty sure he's got the Stark coloring at least. They all apparently do. Makes sense because Starks have uh, Starks have strong bloodline. I think. Uh, we should name him after my father. After my father that got frickin' barbecued by the Mad King. Yon Royce. He also grabbed- he got, uh, he got beautiful from his mother. So, he takes after his mother. I should point out, uh, Ares didn't have all the Starks killed, but he did take the children as hostages, by the looks of it. If you hear gnawing in the background, lads, it's because my dog decides to immediately start eating the antler every time I start recording. She hears me starting to talk to myself. And then she's like, oh, he's not paying attention to me. He's paying attention to the computer. Quickly, let's make as much noise as possible. I, I was genuinely thinking I could probably press demands on the dissolution faction. And because everyone hates Ares, they'd probably rise up. But uh, I kind of don't feel like that's very legitimately RP. Because how is House Royce of all people going to kick off a rebellion with no official support? Just blindly hoping that the rest of Westeros will rise up after the Mad King recently burnt a bunch of people. So, realistically, I don't think... I don't think we're going to be able to pull that off. Prepare the ranks. I don't even know what's going on. Prepare the ranks. 
Ah, reckless. That's slow. Yeah, usually I'd, uh... Usually I'd have a problem with attacking my neighbors to expand my territories, but we kind of hate the Graftons. And while while there's no Lord Paramount keeping us in check, I feel like it's fair game for the Royces to just say, fuck you, claim Goldtown. Because if we can get a claim on it, usually I'd say that's too ambitious. But the Graftons are my neighbors. They betrayed us. And uh, currently there's no Lord Paramount. There's no one ruling my... Why, why, why are you trying to seduce my wife? Primarily, I feel like we need alliances within the Vale, specifically within the Vale. Can I get alliance with Ned Stark? He's a bit too far away for what the hell has happened. He got, he got the shit beaten out of him. I think maybe by a wolf, actually. He's severely injured. I Usually, I'd be, uh... Oh, what? Careless foot. I'm going to slip in my bathtub and die. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Seriously, I slipped in the bathtub, and I am now a vegetable. Great. Well, Lyanna Stark is in charge of Runestone now, basically, and I'm a vegetable. That's great. That's great stuff. This war is far from over. 